What's up everybody, my name is Juha Ekman and I'm a professional anime manga artist and in this video I will be showing you how I color anime eyes and what kind of things I keep in mind when coloring those. So yeah, if you are into anime and manga art, this video is for you. So let's dive in. Okay, so here we have a very basic anime eye and this is what we will be coloring today. So I've placed a shadow for the eyebrow and the eyelid and also the base color for the eye white and I will be changing these during the coloring process just to make everything fit. Okay, so the very first thing that we do is color the or create a shadow for the eye white. So what I do is create a new layer and set it to multiply and create a clipping mask to the eye white. So this is the very first thing that we do. Nothing special, just a regular shadow and it's from the upper eyelashes. Now the next steps will be more or less just, you know, fictional and just what looks good. Okay, so then we color or create a base color for the eye. Like that. Then we start to create clipping mask or masks or layers on top of the base color. Next we will create or get something nice color for it. So I could actually change that base color a bit like that and the, even the eye white looks pretty good. Then we start the shading process. So first we create a very basic shading. Like that. Okay. The next step that we do is put a small highlight like that. Then we create another layer and create a gradient for the base color. So you want to use multiply layers so the colors will work together nicely and all the other parts will be shown. We can actually use a color like that, something like that, looks pretty good. Next we will put another and I can actually reduce the opacity a bit just to get the underlying color viewable or so it kind of like comes through. So we create another highlight and this could be colored like the same way the gradient color was. Okay, so this is a yet again another or a new layer. We could place it there, then reduce the opacity. As you can see when we reduce the opacity, the layers start to slowly add up and look pretty good. If you feel like, well, the color isn't just, you know, the way I, sh uh, way I want it to be, just switch the color and opacity. Then we will create another highlight layer. And let's try a bit of a different color. Not sure yet what kind of color would I use? And this will be under the pupil. Uh, let's see if a some kind of layer effect would create a better results and I think it does. Now if you want to make it a bit more, how would I say, special or different, we can use a mask and just erase some parts. Okay, next we will do small highlights again, this time in a very different different color and you can use something like complement color scheme to create the effect. Okay, 
that looks pretty good. And then we can select different layer styles and see if we can find something special. I think that looks pretty good. Then if you want to emphasize the, the shadows a bit more, you can create another layer and set it to multiply and then use a gradient and while I, <laughs> while I did say gradient, you can uh, produce gradient-like results by using airbrush. So that's what I will be doing next. Then, as you can see, the colors are slowly starting to look like there should be a bit more adjustment for them. So we will do just that. Like there. Then, as we can see, the eye white and the shadow on the eye white, it just doesn't feel right. So we fix that next and also slightly create a bit different shadow a bit smaller like that and then i will also switch the lighting or the shadow color then we will add small details but this time i won't be clipping it to the actual base color so i will so i will be clipping the layer below to the to the below layer or to the base color layer. So then we draw the details. Like that. Now, as we can see, I could change the volume of that one highlight a bit more. I will just increase the size of this. like that and then we will do a small variation to the colors to the overall colors okay as you see the eye is looking pretty good now we will make final adjustments and i would say it's complete so first we will slightly modify the eyelashes color I will also soften the eye white a bit. That I will also blend the line art a bit to the eye, a bit more, so it's not not so strong. It looks pretty good just a few adjustments here and there and i think we are done now as you could see the whole eye was drawn layer by layer so when you're drawing or coloring the anime eye you should color it layer by layer now i usually don't draw or color so precisely the anime eyes but when you are coloring them and truly want to emphasize the eyes in the drawing then you should dedicate a folder a specific coloring eye coloring folder to color the anime eye so this is the end result and as you can see this was done layer by layer and also kind of like just trying out different layer modes and layer effects and I could take it even further if I would just wanted to. So as you can see, just doing these little things here and there can add to the eye. Okay, so this is how I approach coloring anime eyes. Now hopefully this video gave you some value and you now know how to color anime eyes. Now don't forget to check my Patreon page. It has a lot of stuff for anime and manga artists. So hopefully I will see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.